Amen. Sasa tuna tunamuona huyu ndio darasia jali. Now we can see that one is Gasia Jali. Jana mlimuona alivyokuwa na hali mbaya. Yesterday you saw how she was really bad. Na muona alivyomuombea hapa wakati you, ule. You can see how he prayed at like that time. Na leo unamuona ameshakuwa kijana. And today you can see she's young again. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hana hana machozi tena. She's not crying anymore. Si mtu huzuni tena. She's not um ni mtu afura. She's a happiness person. Sema amen si ajali. Say amen. Sema amen si ajali. Say amen si ajali. Amen. Hebu zungumza sasa ninaposema sema amen si ajali wewe unakaa na mic una maana gani? Umelewa? Haya, <laughs> nimekuonyesha kwa ishara naona ukunielewa. Ndio, tunapiga hatua. Sasa Si Ajara ameumizwa sana. Si Ajara has been suffering ame kunyo, for a long time. Amekunywa maji. Has drunk in water. Ameenda kwa waganga wa kienyeji. Been to the witch doctors. Amejifanya mambo yote. He's done all the things you can name it. Ana majibu. No answer to that. Lakini baada ya kuja kwenye maombezi. But after when he came to the prayers. Leo anatueleza. Hebu tueleze. Jina lako ulikuwa unaumwaje? Na Yesu amekufanyia nini? What Jesus has done to you? Mimi nitapenda kwanza nimshukuru Mungu kwa wimbo kidogo. I would like to thank God for Mhm. Ninayo sababu. Oh sababu ya kutukuza Bwana maisha ni mwangu. Sababu Nashukuru kwa makuu aliyonitendea Mungu. Kwa kufika mahali hapa nitasema ni kwa neema ya Yesu. Nimeugua muda wa miezi mitano bila kupumzika hata siku moja. Nilianza kuumwa tarehe 3 mwezi wa kumi na moja. Nikaanza magonjo haya. Nimeenda hospitali nimerudi. Nimekaa nyumbani nimechukuliwa nimepelekwa huko nikarudishwa huko dawa za kila aina every medication paka wa majerani wananonea hata huruma kwa dawa anazotumia na sipati uponyaji why is she getting no here lakini nilikaa nikasema hapana but she said and she said yupo no. yesu There is Jesus. Yupo Mungu. There is God. Natakiwa nimfuate. I need to follow him. Nikasema, and I say, Situmi dawa tena. I'm not going to use any medication yote. anymore. Ikabidi nikaanza na maombi mafupi karibu yangu palikuwa na kanisa fulani. She started with a small prayer. Nilianza na maombi hayo muda wa siku tatu. Nilipoanza kwenda kwenye maombi hayo. Nikaanza kuona mabadiliko ya mwili akaanza kuonekana. Nikamwambia mume wangu. Mimi huko unako nipeleka mimi naona sipati uponyaji. Where you are taking that my, my husband is not getting any help. I see. Ni ruhusu tu niende. Free me to go. Utafuta uponyaji katika neno la Mungu. To look for the healing to the eyes of the Lord. Lakini sikuvunjika moyo. Nilijipa imani. Katika maombi yangu. Nilisema Yesu. Kama yupo. 
Kwa matatizo nao yapata na shida. Kwa maajabu na miujiza asha nitendea. Na kwa magonjo haya. Nima kusudi yako. Sito kuwacha. Niliendelea na maombi na nimuangu. Niliendelea na maombi na nimuangu. Ikaja ikafika siku. Nikapata namba za baba hapa. Nilivopata namba zake nikasema. Kwa nilivopata namba zake nikasema. Kumbe Mungu yupo anajibu oh, mambo. Na hisi yuko na kuenda uponyaji wangu ndio upo. I'm sure where I'm going that's where my healing is coming from. Nikampata nikawasiliana naye. I called him I got him and communicated. Anakufanyia kazi. Nilimwambia mume wangu hivi mkutano wa Pasaka nao kuja. Yeah, I told my husband I'm coming to the meeting. I need to go there and stay to these prayers for three days. I know God is going to do something for me. Na mapu yake Nimechoka na kukaa ndani, nimechoka na kukaa ndani. I'm tired staying. Nashukuru Mungu. I thank God. Hakuleta kipingamizi tena. He didn't bring any difficulties. Ndio. Ilifika siku ya Idi ya Alhamisi. Nikampigia dada simu niliyopewa namba na baba. He called one of our brothers ya safari. He gave the direction of the journey. And I told him tomorrow I'm coming. I started the journey. When I came to the back stop of Makumbusho, I called them up here in Makumbusho. Then where else will I come to Tegeta? They give me directions. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Despite of those difficulties not coming in here. It was my husband gave me those difficulties. But I thank God that he left me here for himself. And he brought me here by his own feet. And he came and he left me here. It's something he never believed in his life. So I thank God because it's great. In the name of Jesus, I'm healed. All the problems have gone. In the name of Jesus, God is faithful. I thank God for what he has done for me. Siajal, what was the main problem? Oh, yes. Zugumza. Talk. Mana sasa uko mzima. Tuwelezi ulikona zugumza. Because now you're healed. Unomu watumbo, unomu wakichwa, unomu wamigu. Why you having stomach, headache, what? Mimi nilikuwa na sumbuliwa. Nilianza kusumbuliwa na matatizo ya mwili ote tu. Nilianza, kwanza matatizo yangu ya lianza. Nilikuwa na ugonjwa hospitali. Nikaenda nikalazwa. Nikarudi nyumbani nikaja nimeandikiwa dawa nikatumia baada ya wiki moja nikakaa nikatumia zile dawa nipo katika kutumia zile dawa pakaja mdada mmoja kwangu alikuwa anauza vitafuno akanikuta pale nyumbani akaniambiaje nunulia watoto vitafuno hivi hapa wale nikaambia mimi sina hela na unaniona bado nipo kitandani na umwa yule dada akabidi akakaa hadi chini mbele ya mlango wangu. Nikaambia mimi sina hela. Akasema hapana, nunuliwa watoto vitafuno. Nikaambia basi kwa kukuruzisha ngoja nichukue kitafuno kimoja. Nika nimeokota kitafuno. Nikakichukua, nikakigawanyisha watoto. Shetani alivyokuwa na nguvu, nikachukua kipande cha kitafuno nikala. Tatizo ya kula kile kitafuno ndio shida ilipoanzia ya matatizo yangu mengine sasa ya nguvu za giza baada ya kula kile kitafuno baada ya kula kile kitafuno nilipoanza kula kitafuno siku hiyo hiyo mwanangu yuko pale binti wangu le pale nilimwambia mama kama singe kula hiki kitafuno nasikia namu ya kula imepotea nasikia kutapika muda wote mbona nimeamka vizuri na chai nimekunywa vizuri. Kwa nini chakula cha mchana nasikia kama muda wote kutapika, nasikia kama kitu kinanipanda kwenye koromero? Ah. Mungu anisamee kama ni hisia zangu, kama ni mawazo, lakini nilisema hichi kitafuno nilichokula kilikuwa sio kizuri. Kweli niliendelea hivyo toka mwezi huo. Hali ikawa inazidi kuwa mbaya. Kila nikiamka hali mbaya kila nikilala 
nao tanakula chakula hivyo nao tanalishwa nyama hizo nikakaa nikapelekwa kwa ndugu zetu wa Uislamu nikasomewa kombe nikapewa nikanywa nikajisikia ile hali kidogo ikawa imepotea walivyoona kile kitu sijui kimeotoweka wakaja wakaongeza cha pili ya mara ya pili kwenye usingizi kabisa nikaona nimelishwa nyama na kula nyama kabisa nilivoamka siku hiyo ilikuwa ni mchana saa sita ndani mwangu usiku Asu, mchana nikamwambia mme wangu nimelishwa nyama tena mchana nikiwemo ndani tena nimechukua mwenyewe kwa mikono yangu tena hali ikazidi kuwa mbaya kula kile chakula nikamwambia nikasema hapana nikakaa sasa hiyo nyama nilivolishwa hali ikazidi kuwa mbaya magonjwa naona yakazidi kuendelea madonda tumboni yakaibuka nikajisikia hali sio hali mwili haueleweki kila nikifanya hiki hakiendi nikamwambia pana mimi wangu nipeleke hospitali najisikia hali tena imekuwa mbaya nikaenda hospitali awamu ya pili nikaenda nikamwambia daktari hivi naomba nipime vipimo vyote unavyojua kwa sababu unavyojisikia mwili sijisikia hali ya kawaida <coughs> nikatoa hela ya vipimo halipima vipimo vyote akaniambia dada una upungufu wa damu akaniambia dada una madonda ya tumbo una amiba una UTI una fangasi una malaria ah! nikamwambia hivyo vipimo vyote vi, magonjwa yote ninayo akasema eh nikamwambia basi kwa jinsi ninavyojisikia kwa sababu hata utembeaji nilikuwa siwezi hata kutembea miguu ilikuwa inavutana misuli yani hata kutembea siwezi ni kwa najisikia mapigo ya moyo haya kuna kitu kwenye kifua changu yani muda wote yani siwezi kupiga hatua ile ya haraka na hisi mwili wote unaishiwa nguvu yani nikisema ni name ile ya kutukiza kwa nguvu na hisi kama nitadondoka nife ah nikasema sasa hii siwezi nitafanyeje akanipima mapigo ya moyo akasema hamna mapigo ya moyo sioni akapima pressure pressure mbona ipo vizuri hapo pressure yako haijapanda haijashuka sasa kinachokusumbua shida nini nikasema sijui akanipa dawa za UTI tu nilizochukua na za minyo ya miba nikakuja nikatumia dawa za madonda ya tumbo nikasema basi nitajulia huko nyumbani nikarudi nikatumia dawa hizo nikajisikia fueni Nilipojisikia fueni kidogo lakini kwenye swala la madonda, swala la tumbo, matatizo yakabaki pale pale. Nikasema, "Eh, hey, tumboni mlikuwa kitu kwenye kitovu kinanyonga, kikianza kunyonga, naanza kutapika. Naanza kutapika. Naanza kutapika." Eh, hey, sasa najiuliza ni nini? Nikampigia mamangu simu, "Mama, hiki kitu kinachonisumbua kwenye kitovu ni nini?" Akanambia wewe umepima kisukari, nikamwambia kisukari sijapima. Akanambia mimi kuna mtu aliniambia dalili za kisukari. Ukiwa najisikia kwenye kitovu mara nyingi hivyo dalili za kisukari. Lakini nikamwambia mimi kisukari sina. Kasema sasa kama una kisukari ni kitu gani? Nikamwambia haya, na hichi kinachonisumbua kwenye moyo huenda haraka muda wote ni nini? Akanambia, "Lada hayo ni mashetani tu kwa sababu kama ni pressure ungeonekana nayo. Sasa ni nini?" nikaambia hata sijui mama akanambia basi inatakiwa kama umeona umetibua kwingine kocha ikuwezekana nenda na kwenye maombi uanze kupata huduma nikaambia sawa nikawa nimekaa sasa palikuwa ubishano mkubwa sana mimi na mume wangu mimi si ni dini ya Kiislamu na mume wangu ni Muislamu kwenda njia nyingine mume wangu ni jambo alikuwa hataki kabisa nikawa namwambia ndugu yangu nimeharibu hela nyingi nimeshatibua vya kutosha mwili siuoni unakoelekea mimi nasikia maumivu sio mazuri mimi ndo najisikia mwili unavohuma naomba uniruhusu niwe na niende hata kwenye maombi niwe napata maombi hataki ah ilibidi nijiibe nilijiiba muda wa siku tatu naenda kwenye maombi ya juu Maombi niliyojiiba kwenda siku hiyo nimeamka na kiuno siwezi kunyanyuka kitandani hadi yeye mwenyewe ndo ananiinua na nipeleka chooni ananirudisha ndani ilibidi nilimwambia jirani yangu utakapoenda kanisani uje nipitue hapa nipeleke nikapate maombi 
Siku hiyo kweli alikuja mume wangu alikuwa yupo hakaja akanichukua akanipeleka Mwenyezi Mungu ni mkubwa nilitoka pale siwezi kutembea lakini mpaka kurudi nyumbani nilitoka natembea mpaka niliona maajabu sana tutasema bwana Yesu asifiwe sana tena asifiwe sana niliona Mwenyezi Mungu ni mkubwa mpaka nilimwambia mme wangu hivi nilishinda hapa kuanza asubuhi hadi saa tisa hii siwezi kugeuka hivi siwezi kugeuka hivi hata kuokota kitu siwezi lakini kwa sasa hivi natembea hadi na maji nachukua bafuni naenda kuoga mwenyewe nimetoka kuombewa katika jina la Yesu Kristo ulichokuwa ananizuilia kukaa mundani ni nini mpaka sasa hivi ningekuwa nipo kitandani na sina msaada hata wote unaona hakuongea kitu lakini sikuchoka sikuchoka niliendelea hivyo na maombi yangu ndani niliendelea na maombi yangu ndani lakini mpaka kitu kinafanyeje kinanyonga kinaendelea kunyonga kinaendelea kunyonga mm. nikaja nikavishwa nika pepo la, la kuparalyze mm. hilo pepo ndio limenifikisha hadi hapa mm. siwezi mm. pepo hilo lilikuwa katika ndani ya mwili wangu mm. ninapokuwa najisikia mwili haupo vizuri nikiingia kwenye mahombi nikianza kuomba kikisikia maombi nayo homba kinastuka na kitu hicho kipo tumboni kinapostuka napokuwa na homba kinakuwa kinavutana na mimi sasa kinavutana na mimi mimi na homba kenye kinavutana na mimi tumbo hili linarudi hadi nyuma yani linazurudisha tumbo hadi nyuma kifua hiki kinabana kama kitapasuka yani nimeendelea na mahombi hayo mikono hii na kakamaa yani naenda kabisa napinda mimi wote na kuwa kama na degedege unaona mm. hali hiyo imenitokea nyumbani karibia muda wa siku nne nikamwambia hapana ili yeye sio kawaida mimi nimwambia mume wangu niruhusu niende nikaombewe siendi kwa waganga siendi wapi situmii dawa za kupaka situmii dawa za aina yoyote niache mimi niende kwanza nikatafute Yesu wakati huo unalia maana una, unapiga simu ulikuwa huko ah. hoi binitabani nilikuwa hoi sana mchungaji mm. Mikono haina nguvu naona ulikuwa umeikunja hivi. Yaani yeah. na siku hiyo hata kanisani watumishi hata waumini hapa walishuhudia kwa macho yao. Yeah. Nilivyokuwa paka naomba msahada ni nyoshwe yani nasikia hadi mikono yani yeah. imekakama sana. I see. Unaona. Nimefika hapa. Mm. Nimeanza maombi ya Ijumaa. Nimeanza maombi ya Ijumaa. Mungu akasimama kweli kitu hicho kimenisumbua kimenibana kuanza saa mbili ya usiku hadi muda na kupigia simu saa nne ya usiku nimekakama mwili mzima yani hata natolewa kwenye kiti na nyanyuliwa chini siwezi hata kusimama nimekaa nimeambia watumishi hapa naombeni mnisaidie kwa maombi waliniambia dada Mungu amekufungua wewe imani yako isimame pale pale kaa hadi saa sita utaona miujiza ya Mungu. Nilikaa nikaendelea kumomba Mungu kweli hiyo hali ilikuja inatoweka taratibu, ilikuja inatoweka taratibu, hali mikono ikawa vizuri. Jana Ijumamosi nilishinda mnyonge mnyonge ule uchovu kwa sababu hali inaponigilia inapotoka mwili unabaki una maumivu, mnyama za mwili zinauma. Nilibaki jana Naomba Mungu inakuja kuna mdada yuko pale nilishinda napika naye hapo nilipika chakula watoto walikula ile hali inakuja nawaambia eh yani chikiduda lakini kitaisha akanambia zidi kukemea kimekuja kinashika kinabana miguu jana hiyo kinashika kinavuta miguu kinabana kinaishia tulipokuita mbele kilivyo niita mbele jana ibada ilivyoanza nimeingia nimekaa pale nimeomba Mungu tena ile hali ikaja ikashika lakini nitasema kwa nguvu ilivyokuwa Ijumaa hadi jana nguvu zilikuwa zinaanza kufanyeje kupungua hadi nimeitwa jana hapa nimetoka jana hapa mpaka leo Bwana Yesu hasifiwe haleluya oh Yesu Kristo namshukuru Mungu sana Nimekaa jana jioni nasikilizia dalili zile zitarudi. Nimelala 
Nasikilizia dalili zile zitarudi Mpaka saa hivi nasikilizia dalili zile ziko wapi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nimepokea uponyaji wako. Unamshukuru ndugu yako aliyokupigia simu kutoka America. Namshukuru dada aliyonipigia simu kwa kunionyesha mchungaji Robert alipo. Mm. Mm. Na kunionyesha mahali ulipo. Eh. Nashukuru sana. Hebu ni hebu niambie umezunguka kwa maji umetumia mafuta hakuna matokeo. Hamna kilicho tokea. Mm. Japokuwa kuna tatizo bado linanisumbua. Sikiliza kidogo, sikiliza kidogo. Nakuombea. Mesikia nyinyi mnaonitazama. Have you listened? Can you hear you people are looking? Kwenye seminar hii. In this seminar. Amepokea muujiza wake. She has received his miracle. Yaliyo yeye ni Muislamu. She is a Muslim. Mume wake alimzuia mara kadhaa. The husband stopped her many times. Lakini maumivu yalipozidi. But when the pain continued. Akaamua hana namna amlete. She decided to have no ways. Kutoka chamazi mpaka hapa hapa Kunduchi, from Chamazi to Kumunduchi ni mwendo wa kilomita karibu 60 is 60 km lakini kamleta mpaka hapa but he brought her here na amefika hapa siku tatu zile za maombezi and she got here for those three days of prayer mungu anamkarabati god has renovated her mungu anamkarabati god is renovating her alipoendelea kuweko na kungangania when she continue holding the lord leo yuko huru today she's free Bule. Free. Tukulize si ajali. Umelipa hela kupona? Have you paid any money to be healed? Hapana. Umekanyaga no. mafuta hapa? Hapana. Umekunywa maji? Hapana. Umepewa chumvi? Hapana. Kwa jina la Yesu. Waambie watu wanaoteseka waje wapi hapa? Tasema wenzangu wagonjwa na mimi wanaohangaika muda mrefu kama walivyohangaika kama mimi. Hamna wa kuzidi Yesu. Yes. Yesu ni mkubwa. Anaponya na anatenda. Ukimtegemea Yesu, hamna kinachoshindikana kwake. Amen. Amen. Ujumbe huo. That message. Kwako, ujumbe huo kwako nini tazama? That message for you you're looking at me. Tunaombea watu wapo bule. We are praying for people here free. Na wanapona kweli kama si ajabu. And they truly get healed like si ajabu. Bila ma, bila mafuta wala maji. Without oil or water. Kwa jina la Yesu wa Nazareth. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Waambieni wagonjwa walioko hapa Dar es Salaam. Tell the sick people in Dar es Salaam. bure. The prayer is free. Kikubwa si ajabu. The main is here, Jali. And you who are looking at me, Uwache dhambi. leave the scene. Dhambi, if you continue sinning, the person who brought it back, will bring seven times more. You must stand firm. Uambie mume wako naomba niendelee kuendelea kusali kulisikia neno. Ask your husband please can I continue to hear the word? Ukipona ukasema oh nimepona sasa ngoja nirudi kule nilikotoka basi. If you give up and say oh I'm healed now let me get back where I come from. Yatarudi mara saba. They will come back seven times. Amina. Amen. Si ajali unanielewa? Si ajali can you hear me? Ndio. Unanielewa? Do you understand me? Umepona na utaendelea kupona. Kilichobaki nini? Hebu niambie. What left tell us? Kilichobaki kuna kitu kipo tumboni. Maombi ya Ijumaa kilikuwa kinani nyonga kinyonga kinataka kutoka kama kwenye njia kutapika mm. e, nimekoromewa sana utapika kutapika kutapika kutafika kutapika kuna vitu vilirishwa vile vilirishwa vile vitatoka vyote sio na pressure sina shaka mm. sina shaka mungu vitatoka vyote asante mungu anakuponya kidogo kidogo ili uendelee kuwepo hapa God renovate little by little so that you continue to be here ukipona mapema if you being healed quicker utakimbia you run away amina amen kadi unapokuepo continue come, become here unajifunza maneno ya Bwana you learn the word of god Una, unajifunza kristo you learn about christianity unajua namna ya kuwashinda wachawi you continue to know how to wakirusha mshale the, when they throw the arrow wakirusha ngumi they throw the punch na wewe unapiga ngumi and you you punch it back 
ukiwa hujajifunza bondia if you haven't learned the bondia wewe sio mpiganaji you are not a fighter ukienda kupigana na bondia when you got to fight with these bondias anakupiga tu they just kick you or punch you oh, and you just still be hit napigwa za uso napigwa za mgongo a... napigwa za tumbo utasimama will you stand mwisho utadondoka chini and the end you fell down sasa ukiwa umeokoka but when you're born again unajifunza namna na wewe kurusha ngumi and you haven't learned how to punch it back ibilisi amuogope mlokole the evil does not really worry about the born again it's coming to fight with you anamuogopa mpiganaji he fa- he scared the fighters amina amen lakini kama mtu anakupiga mangumi tu but if someone just punch you na wewe umekaa tu and you just sit it Baba nisaidie. Father help me. Pu, yes, Pu. nisaidie. Jesus help La me. Latumbo, Baba yeah, nisaidie. Stomach, Jesus help me. Lakicho, Mungu Jesus nisaidie. Jesus help me. Mwisho una kwenda chini. Bwana nisaidie. Bwana nisaidie uko kwenye kitanda. Jesus help you are still in the bed. Anapiga hapo hapo. Bwana nisaidie. Jesus help me. Mwisho wae unatoka. And the end the life is gone. Ukiendelea kuita Bwana? If you continue to call Jesus? Kumbe unatakiwa urudishe mapigo. But you need to punch him back. Amina. Amen. Akirusha ngumi unakwepa, unarusha ngumi. Draw the ngini. punch, you move kwa and you punch the la, another one. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Itampata hapa chari yeye. You get mwenye. him down. Ndio. Yes. Daudi asingeweza kupigana na Goliath. David could not have been able to fight with Goliath. Is Israel wangepigwa? Israel would have been kicked down. Lakini wanapigana wote. But they were all fighting. Alipozungusha kijiwe When he rolled up the little stone. Akirusha kwa Goliath. When he shot it through that arrow Go, thing. Goliath. Then the giant Goliath fell down. Amina. Amen. Nguvu ya Mungu ikaenda na ile kijiwe ama ile nguvu ya Mungu ikaenda na kile kijiwe kampiga Goliath. And the power of the Lord went with through that kwa little stone and just hit Goliath and fell down. So na mngina ni mtazama. I'm telling you are looking. You should know how to punch by the name of Jesus. Ushindwe. Be fail. Pepo ushindwe. Demons fall. Amen. Amen. Uwez. You can't. Majini ya muwezi. The demons you can't. Jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Sasa kuna wakati kama uko kwenye dini hujui hayo maneno. But sometimes when you're just in the religions you don't know those words. Kwa hiyo bilisi anakupiga tu. So the the demons just hit you. Wachawi wanakuvisha mapepo yao. The witch doctors Amina. and craft give you the demons. Ndio maana tunatakiwa siajali uendelee kulisikia na ujifunze namna ya kurudisha mapepo. So siajali you need to continue how to Kwa sababu wachawi wakiona umepona. Because those which which is not your heel wanaweza kuja kukoroga tena. They will come back to witch you again. Wewe usimame imara katika imara. Mm. Stand firm in the name of Jesus. Aha. Tunalo mm-hmm. kanisa pale kwako na hapa na gongola mboto na, na kule vikindo we have church here kalibu? vikingo gongola mboto kidogo haya mchungaji njoo hapa gongola mboto huyu mwanafunzi gongola mboto hakikisho nanipa taarifa zake na anasimama imara make sure you help her to stand firm amina amen haya mimi nitakuombea uzima umeupokea ukiupoteza ujue ni wewe mwenyewe na mme wako mme wako anasema usiende anataka ufe Bishop will pray for you. Usiende wao kwa Kristo utakufa. Wanataka ukae kwenye kwa Uislamu ufe ama uishi ukae kwa Kristo. Yoyota nene nisikia. Those who are hearing me. Amina. Amen. Kwa hiyo nitakuombea uzima umeshapokea hauna mashaka. Ukiupoteza ni wewe yourself. Ukienda benki wanasema count your money before leaving. When you go to the bank you want to say sabia pesa yako kabla hujatoka. Kabla uja, ukisha maliza wamekukabidhi ni zenyewe haya kwa heri. Is it the money? Wakikuibia huko nje sio kazi ya bank. If they take you out there it's not the bank Amina. business. Amen. Na sisi tunaukabidhi muujiza hapa. Shetani kikuibia huko chamazi. If the devil take it out from you. <laughs> Tunza muujiza wako. Keep your miracle. Hold your miracle. Tunza Hold your miracle. Baba katika jina la Yesu asante kwa uponyaji juu ya siajali na kilichobaki tumboni kihame. Kihame. Nguvu ya Yesu imfunike, baraka za Yesu ziwe juu yake. Hata atoke hapa aende kumubiri Yesu uko chamazi kila mahali kwamba uponyaji ni bure au hitaji gharama. Yesu alikwishalipa gharama. Muujiza huu uwe dhahiri hata kwa majirani na wale walio mloga mwanzoni wakirudi wapigwe mara saba katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Anaye mlani si ajali. Anaye mbariki. Katika jina la Yesu. 
Nenda na uzima wako usiajabu. Tende, tende, tende. Tende, unataka unataka kutoa unataka kufanyaje? Kutoa sadaka. Haya, njoo kwa tembo. Bwana Yaba ya Skofu atapokea sadaka yako. Ubarikiwe sana. Amina. Asante sana Sajad. Ninaenda kwa nguvu ya Bwana. Naam. Anayefuata jina lako